welcome all of you to our channel IAPT Learning Hub. Today I am going to discuss about relational operators. Previous video I only covered three types of operators: arithmetic, assignment, increment operators. In this video I am talking about relational operators. What are the relational operators? Types of relational operators. Why to use this in the power program? When to use? How to use each operators? With the help of program, we can discuss these operators. If we use the relational operators, what output will get? It? Okay, relational operators are used to compare two numbers by checking whether they are equal or not, less than, less than or equal to, greater than, greater than or equal to, and will give the result. They are used. These are used to check the condition. These are the types of operators: greater than. Less than, greater than or equal to, less than or equal to, equal to, not equal to. Using greater than, we can check if the first operand is greater than the second. Less than, we can check if the first operand is less than second. Greater than or equal to check if the first operand is greater than or equal to second one. Same method we can use less than or less than equal to also. Here equal to is to check the equality whether the both operands are equal or not equal. The, this equal sign is different from differ from single equal sign. Single equal sign to assign a value to a variable. This double equal sign is used to to check the equality. Okay. Next is not equal to check whether the both or both operands are not equal. And only the condition will be true. Should not be equal. When we will compare the value, what output will get? It? You will get true or false. True means one, false means two. In computer memory, the true would be stored in the form of a form of a number one. False would be stored in the form of a number zero. Okay. The relation statement is satisfied. Statement which is written with relation operator, that statement is satisfied. Or if it is true, the program will return the value one. Okay. If it is false. Program will return the value zero. Let's discuss the program using with the relational operators. Here I have written the program using with the relational operators. Let us discuss with that program. Here I declare two variables for checking the conditions a and b. Value of the a three, value of the b five. To store the result, we have taken one variable result. It is that type of result is boolean. Boolean that type is used for true or to store to true or false. Okay. First condition. Result result is output variable. Result is equal to a equal to b. What output what output will get? It? What is the result here? A equal to b. Three to check whether the value of the a is equal to b. Three equal to b. Is it true or false? False. False. It should be stored in the memory in the form of a number zero. What is the result here? The result is zero. Okay. Next one. A not equal to B. Three not equal to B. Is it true or false? Yes, it is true. Okay. What is the result here? Three not equal to five is equal to one. Okay. A greater than B. Check with num these numbers. Three greater than B. Is it true or false? False. False means. Zero, three greater than five is equal to zero. Next with less than operator. So give it less than operator. Three less than five. Yeah, it is true. Uh, three less than five is equal to one. Next is a greater than equal to b. Is it true or false? False. The value of the a three greater than equal to five is not true. False. Result is zero. A less than equal to b. Yes. Three less than or equal to five. Yes, it is true. If here less than or equal to means any one condition should be true, either less than or equal to. If it is equal also true. If we, if it is less than also true. Next, a is compare with characters. How to compare the character with the single quotes a less than or equal to with the single quotes b. To compare with the characters, it will take the ASCII code value of the characters. What is the ASCII code value of the a? Ninety nine. Value of the b? Ninety eight. Nine ninety nine less than ninety eight is greater than no. It is false. Result is zero. 
that progress stopped this is the method this is the way we can write use the relation operators in the program priority of relation operators equal sign and not equal to is low priority okay less than less than equal to greater than greater than equal to or higher priority in expression relation operator associative is from left to right from left to right if any arithmetic expression is there first priority is arithmetic expression arithmetic operators are the higher priority than relational operators let us discuss one program using with relational operators more than one relational operators here i have taken four variables here a b c d e also value of a is 18 b is 9 c is 10 d is 10 okay this is the checking and checking the condition a less than b less than c greater than b okay here how many relation operator is there 1 2 3 Okay, how it will works? The associative is from left to right, from left to right. While back from left to right, which will, which will execute first? This will evaluate first. First will evaluate a less than b. What is the value of the a? 80. What is the value of the b? 90. 8 9. B of sorry, the value of b is 9. 18 is less than 9. It is false. Return value is zero. Next we will take second operator less than c. Now what is the result of a less than b? Zero. Zero less than ten. Zero less than ten. It returns one because zero is less than ten. Condition condition is true. It returns true. Value is value is one. Okay. Now what is the final uh, result of this? Two operators, one. Check result of first two operators with the last operand. One greater than ten. If one is greater than ten, no, it is false. It is false. It returns zero. Then what is the final result? Final result is zero. Okay, hope you understood. this program how to work how to execute in the computer let us discuss next program with you see with the relational operators and arithmetic operators okay here i declared the variables from a to e and given the values also this is a statement a statement a plus c equal b b greater than e less than c plus b okay how it will works here both operators are there arithmetic operator also is here relation operator operators also here which operator has priority arithmetic operator is higher priority than relational operator associative is from left to the right okay here both two expressions with arithmetic operators which will evaluate first this will evaluate first why because the Associate is from left to right. While working from left to right, which operator, which expression will do first? A plus C. A plus C. What is the value of the A? Ten. What is the value of the C? Ten. Ten plus ten is equal to twenty. So here we are. Here. Next arithmetic expression C plus D. What is the value of the C? Ten. What is the value of the D? Ten. C plus D. Twenty. Okay. Next. What is the value of the B? Nine. What is the value of the C? Ten. Now we'll see how it works. One priority relation operators also priority is there. First priority is greater than less than. Last priority is equal sign. Okay. Here. Nine greater than ten. The nine is greater than ten. Is it true or false? No, it is false. 
And you what is the value then? Zero. Okay. Output is zero. Output of this condition is zero. Zero. Check with the check this zero with the less than twenty. Zero less than twenty. Yes, correct. Oh, true. Return value is one. Then last final condition. Twenty equal to one. Twenty. But the value of the a plus is twenty. Okay. Uh, value of the one. Twenty is equal to one. No, it is not true. Or zero. Then final result is zero. Got the idea? You have any doubts? No. You call me. Let us discuss with one pro one more program with the relation operators. A less than B less than C. Here three conditions are there. Two two conditions are here. Less with less than value of the A is less than B. The result of this with the less than C. What is the value of the A? Eighty. Value of the B? Ninety. Eighty is less than nine. No, it is false. Return value is zero. Again, we will check the result of this expression with the last operand. Last result of this relation expression with the last operand. Zero less than C. Uh, what is the value of the C? Ten. Here I have written nine. Sorry, it is ten. Zero less than ten. Yes. This two. What is the return value? One. The final result is one. Okay. This is the way we can do the program with the relational operators, and we'll get the final output. Like this, these operators used to compare two values, two of brands expressions also variables. We can also compare expression values variables. Example, three plus five less than five plus five. We can compare this with the con constant expressions. A plus B less than B plus C. This also we can compare. This method also we can use for comparison. Using relational using relation operators, we can compare integer value, float values, and you can also compare character. Character within single quotation A less than within single quotation B. How to compare? It will take the ASCII code value of A, ninety-seven, less than ASCII code value B, ninety-eight. Okay? It will compare memory. Computer memory it will compare like this. The ASCII code values of characters. But we cannot compare the string. It will compare with the memory address. There is some other method is there to compare the string. Let us discuss later with the string functions. Okay, then what is the syntax of relational using relational operators? Syntax is first arithmetic expression one, relational operator arithmetic expression two. Hope you learned about relational operators. Next video I will discuss about input stream that is C in statement in C plus plus. How the C in works in C plus plus with examples. Then what is the syntax of C? In? Everything I will discuss that video. If you like this video. subscribe channel like and share also thank you for watching